All right, everybody, it's Tony, Car Stars, just wiring up this uh, run stand that we got. So, fan on front, it's a pusher. Um, I got three switches. Of course, turn the ignition on, hit the starter. That stays on, obviously. This is temporary, obviously. We're gonna go three switches here. Fan, fuel pump, water pump. I didn't find three of the same switch. This is like, that's on, that's off, and that's on. But right now we're just gonna run it as just one single on. But anyway, you gotta make sure when you're wiring this stuff up, I know this is probably obvious to a lot of you, but you gotta make sure that your wire sizes can handle the load and your switches can handle the load. So right now, these three switches are identical. They can supposedly handle 35 amps, 12 volt, 35 amps, up to 430 watts. So this will be safe for this fan because as you can see, this fan is 12 volt, 120 watt. So I'm just gonna run one end of this wiring. This is ground, black is always ground. I'm gonna run that to ground and then I'm gonna run the blue as a hot, which will come to my switch. On the hot side, there's only two poles, uh, hot and then the other is gonna go to like maybe a, a common block of fed power maybe into a fuse. I do have this little cheap fuse block that I picked up at AutoZone. Uh, I'll probably use this, so there'll be a common hot coming into the fuse block, and then each separate fuse will feed something. So, uh, yeah, so I got to check the, uh, the load of the, the um, water pump, and I got to check the load of the fuel pump to make sure I'm, I've got plenty of wire size and switch size and fuse size to handle it. And... Uh, that should be it. So, otherwise, I think I'm good. So, how am I going to determine the amperage? So, there's a math mathematical calculation where if you know the amps, you can figure out. If you know two of the three, you can figure out the third. So, if you know volts and watts, you can figure out, like, amperage draw. And if you know watts and amps, you can figure out, you know, the voltage required. Um, vice versa, although I couldn't quote the mathematical equation to you right off the top of my head, but rest assured, I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, so from the ignition, we're going to run into our, our brain for our computer, make sure that's all working. From the starter button, we're going to go to the solenoid on the, on the starter, uh, make sure I've got big enough wire for that, uh, although the solenoid doesn't draw too much current. Um, let's see, I think that's about it for now. This is going to be Real simple, I'll, I'll do another video when I've got this more uh, close to finished wiring or actually the finished wiring so you guys can see everything. All right, we're getting close to the end of getting this run stand mocked up and finished actually, not just mocked up. The only thing we haven't done yet since we haven't run the motor is to brace from there to there if we need it. So. We'll probably get this thing started and see how bad it shakes, if it shakes at all. Um, <clears throat> I've got everything wired pretty much. It's a little bit of a rat's nest back here behind on the control panel. So what I've got is I've got the starter going with this biggest cable to the battery. Then I've got the starter solenoid. We've got, by the way, we've got some of the LS harness just dangling here. Uh, we got the solenoid wire coming up here into the starter switch. And the starter switch is fed off just the basically the turn everything on switch, which is then fed over to the battery. I've got a, I'm, I haven't put it in yet, but there will be a 30 amp inline fuse over there. Although I don't think... This side needs it because all I've got is the starter button, which is going to a starter solenoid, so it's not drawing a crap ton of amperage, uh, and the starter switch um, to run the ignition. So on this in this system, I don't think it's going to use up that much amperage. So 
Each one of these switches, as I said before, can handle 35 amps. They're all going to separate fuses over here in this little fuse block. Um, I've got 30 amps for the a 30 amp fuse for the fuel pump, 3 amp fuse for the fan, and a 10 amp fuse for the water pump. Now I had to guess on the water pump, I have zero information on the water pump um, that at least I've been able to find yet. So if anybody knows any better or if I should up the fuse on that, let me know. Otherwise if it keeps popping we might just uh, go up in uh, fuse size unless the wires are melting down, then we got some issues. So the only thing I really need to connect is the ignition, the hot ignition wire to the, I've got to figure out how to run it into the ECU and get all this straightened out. But um, yeah, if you come over here, we've got our cool little uh, two gallon, two and a half gallon fuel cell. We ran it under there. There's a uh, fuel pump under there. It's one of those typical, um, Oh God, what is it to the, um, what's that fuel pump everybody uses? The, the Walbro 255. It's like a clone of that. It's going to come out of here. I've got, um, I've got a fuel pressure regulator. It's going to send it up to the line up here, uh, and then return into here. So that's, I'll work on that next. But right now, as far as the stand itself is concerned, it's pretty bloody close. Like I can, I can turn this on. Light came on, and then I can hit this, and that would crank over, but I'm not going to do it because there's no oil in there. And then I can hit the fan. Uh, I don't know if the fuse just popped, but we'll have to see. <laughs> and then I can, uh, this should be the, that's the water pump. And then, oh wait, no, this is a two-way switch. So there's the fuel pump, which is really loud. So yeah, getting there. Now i got to check what just happened to the fan. But I'm guessing it's a fuse. So, catch you later. Okay, just in case anybody was curious. Um, yeah, that was weird. Because right there, it says 12 volts, 120 watts as its draw or its power usage requirement. That equates to one amp. So, I put a three amp fuse in there. Turned it on, boom, blue. Turn, put a 5 amp fuse, turned it on, blue. Put a 10 amp fuse, turned it on, blue, immediately. So I didn't have a 15 or a 20 amp, so I stuck a 30 amp in there, and it runs fine. And I'm going to see if... I just have to see if any of this stuff gets, like, too hot. I might have to increase the wire size. I doubt it. These, like I said, these switches can take 35 amps of power through them. But I, I find it hard to believe that that fan draws that much power. And then maybe it's on initial startup it draws that much power. But um, yeah, definitely three amp fuse. Didn't cut it five, 10, nope. Gotta go with, uh, I'm gonna try to get a 15 and a 20. And I'm gonna go with the one that barely keeps it running uh, without blowing on startup. So anyway, again, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for updates. See you later.